Well, let's give it a test. It's all set up, so let's just give it an easy test. So that little center area thing that we're going to use to focus, put that right in the middle of that wall and take one photograph. Hurry up. Uh, so we've broken the camera. <coughs> well, why don't you put that little dot on the edge of the TV and shoot. Aha. Uh -huh. So your first lesson in autofocus. The camera does autofocus when you give it contrast, dark and light. It needs to be contrast. When we don't, don't give it contrast, it can't focus. And so we set it to not take a picture unless something's in focus, right? So it won't take a picture. But as soon as we give it some contrast, no problem. Straight in there, bang. So you are in charge of what's in focus. You have to make the decision. So let's, uh, let's assume I was going to take, what's your name? Evan. I was going to take Evan. I'm not going to take a picture, but let's assume I was going to take Evan's picture. So he's going to fill the screen and I point the camera at him. So what am I going to focus on? His eyes, but he has two eyes. So it's a 50, 50. Hmm? Center, mm -hmm. 50, 50, no. <laughs> not just you. Every single class, when I say it's 50, 50, that means it's either this one or this one. Somebody straight away says no, <laughs> which is not included in the equation of 50, 50, 50, 50. I'm asking you which eye. <laughs> The better one. <laughs> the one that's nearest to you. That's it. That's all you have to, when you're doing a portrait, that's all you have to do. Get the eye that's nearest to you in focus. You're fine. That's it. What if you're straight on? Then the, the, either eye is correct. Okay. If it's straight on, they're both the same distance. It just has to be because we, as humans, we're not used to you. If we look around, you don't see things coming in and out of focus generally. It's just unless you're on LSD or something, but if you, <laughs> you look around, it's like, mm, everything's sharp. So we're not used to this out of focus thing. In particular, we're not used to out of focus in front of the subject. <coughs> we're not. And if we pick up, if this is a instinctive thing, it's pre-language, right? So we pick, up, we pick up a photograph of somebody because we don't do it, in, we don't in language look and say, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look at the eyeball that's nearest to me. We don't. It's not a language thing, but it's what we look at. We just, because, you know, windows to the soul, all the drama, threat, everything that's going on is going to be right in that eyeball. So we pick it up and look at it. And if the one that's nearest to us is out of focus, ooh, that's very creepy. And if one farther away is out of focus, that's okay. We can accept that. So I want to put in his eye that's nearest to me. I'll put that little focus thing right on there. And I press the button and it even beeps to tell me it's in focus. So I can shoot. Bang, we have a sharp eye. So we're really good. Or are we? What would be the problem with this picture? Where is the eyeball? In the center. That could be my new style. I'll be eyeball in the middle of the picture guy. <laughs> but then I'll be treading on your, uh, because you, as beginners, automatically do this thing. You point the camera at people, and you get them, you don't even know. You get the eyes right in the middle, and then you take a picture. So then we've got this big space out of the side of nothingness, and a huge space above here. Does that look familiar to you? Yeah. So we don't want to just point it and then shoot. So when this beeps, and it doesn't have to beep, when it's focused. So it's focused. It now stops focusing whilst I hold it. It's locked. It stops. So if I focus on my hand, Point it there. It's now focused at this distance. It's a distance thing. So it's not here and not here, only here. As long as I don't move further or closer, it stays in focus. But I can do this. So I can get Evan's eye in focus. And then I can, as long as I don't move forwards and backwards, I can put him anywhere that I like in the picture <coughs> and then shoot. His eye is going to stay sharp. 
That is your game when you're taking any kind of a photograph. You look at, uh huh, mm -hmm, okay, this is what I'm going to take a picture of. What is it that I want to be in focus? Uh, it's that. Put the focus thing on it, bang, get it in focus, hold it now. Where do I want this thing in the picture? And then shoot. Every picture that you take, that's it. Of course, if I was going to take 200 pictures of Evan without changing the setup, then I would move the focus point to his eye so I don't have to keep moving it around. But when you're just taking different pictures, keep it in the middle. Let's try that out. So, we're going to focus on this, hold it locked, then move up and across so that this is in the bottom right hand corner of the picture, then shoot. Are you ready, ready for the advanced version? Here's the advanced version. We could not focus on this so it wouldn't let us take a picture. We could focus on this. This is the same distance. Focus on the edge here, move up and take the photograph you couldn't take before. It's unforgiving, so if you take your finger off at any time, it won't let you do it. So that's how you do it. When you have your two friends drunk at the party, you want to take a photograph of them? So, and you're pointing it straight between them to shoot and it won't take a picture, why? Because you're trying to focus on the wall behind them in between. You have to select one of them, one that's nearest or either. Focus, lock it, get them both in, shoot. It's always going to be that, always. That's how your camera is going to work from now on. <laughs>